Hey guys, welcome to a new mini series. This series is going to be about my road to the British Paramount Open Championships. Um, they've got three classes this year. So they've got the championship class, which is full competition, discovery class, which is basically the same tasks, but you're allowed GPS. Then they've got the CP um, uh, category, which is brand new this year. It's for CP rated pilots to get a bit more skill and then you get the chance to do your pilot exam there with the BHPA um, which entitles you to obviously the full insurance for the BHPA um, but there's going to be a lot more guidance from the guys who are organizing it um, and then basically they'll run you through the tasks on how to plan them etc etc obviously I am at that stage if you've been following the story so I've entered into the CP class to get an idea of what these competitions are all about because I've always kind of found it hard to find much information about the competitions as a whole and what happens there so hopefully this mini series like I say will um, inspire some more of you guys to give it a go next year in the years to come and give you a bit more information on what actually happens there so this is probably going to be about five part series I think we're going to start off with side mountain reserve we're then going to build a map board we're then going to look at the efficiencies of the motor and speed so we can plan our navigation tasks um, we'll then be practicing using the the map board itself and then we'll be at the competition so the final video will be me at the competitions competing in a sense um, and then just yeah showing you guys around and seeing what it's all about right so let's go over what kit I've got here to start off this series on side mountain reserve and then we'll move over to the Paramo and we'll do it on there and show you what we've got set up there. So first of all, how I normally have my Paramo reserve mounted is on the front like you can see behind me. Basically the reason for that is because it's easy to see, it's the most reachable position when you're flying. You've also got a built Velcro on the top as your flight deck so you can stick stuff to it. So it's quite usable really. The reason that I'm now having to side mount the reserve is because I'm going to need a mat board on my lap to use for the navigation tasks. So unless you want your mat board in your face um, and not be able to reach your reserve handle, you need to side mount your reserve. So the kit that I've got with me to move the reserve to the side of the paramotor, I've got two longer bridles that have been loaned to me by Mike Chilvers, the guy I train with. If you're interested in training, go and click the link down below. He's a top bloke. He will get you on well on your way to flying paramotors safely and effectively. He's a bloody brilliant pilot. Next of all, we've got two Malleons that are a trapezoid rapide. Uh, when you buy these, make sure you get the ones that are going to have enough load. Because I've got two mounting points for these, the load is kind of split. Um, basically, uh, yeah, do check the loading on these because they can be a lot lower than you need for a reserve mount. Uh, got them from Ginger Nomad. Go on his page. I'll leave a link down below to all this stuff um, and check his stuff out. Uh, we've got a couple of O-rings. These are to keep the bridles from moving around on the mallions. So these O-rings um, will wrap around. I'll show you how to do that later. Uh, we've then got a couple of straps that I've made up from, I think they're from like old GoPro straps. You know, you've always got loads of mounts kicking around that you'll never actually use. So these straps are to hang the reserve down from the side. So we've then got two uh, Velcro straps to attach the reserve to the side. So when you pull the handle, you don't just flap around a reserve, it's actually gonna pull against something. So there for the, the back of the reserve, and then we've just got 11 mil spanner, just to nip up these. You should really do these finger tight. Um, you don't need to do them crammed up with a uh, spanner. So it's just to nip them really, just to make sure. Right, well, let's head over to the Paramo and get this fixed up. So the first thing we've got to do is we've got to remove this reserve off the front here first. Which is quite easy with these, because they're just velcroed onto the front chest strap there, and they're clipped into your main carabiners. Right, now we need to change these bridles over to the ones we've got over there. So this is probably the most awkward part of the whole job, is changing these bridles over to these bridles. Because um, we're going to have to take off this handle and 
and maybe re-thread these, but I'm gonna try and not do that. Got a couple of pins here to help me do that. So, let's kick it off, take this handle apart. All right, as I pull these out, I wanna get this pin in underneath there so I can catch that before it goes. Likewise with this side. There you go, All right, we can pull that handle out now. So that handle is free. Now we can then unveil this section underneath. And actually that's probably all we needed to get at. So we've got this neoprene sock on this reserve that covers this mallion underneath. So we just need to undo that like the, there you go, just nipped up. And then it's got a silicone tape on there. That's just to stop it from moving around when it's deployed. Um, silicone tape attaches itself to itself. So it doesn't really stick to the bridle. So that's quite good really, isn't it? This bridle can now come out. There we go, that one's out. Uh, should be able to pull it straight straight through. Like that. There we go, that's that wide bridle. Now we need to put these two just normal straight bridles in. So we'll save the smaller end for the harness itself. We'll have the wider end down here in the pouch itself. Okay, so when you're getting your bridles, make sure that they're both the same length for obvious reasons that when you deploy your reserve, you're hanging evenly and not one being higher than the other would be the case if they weren't even. So these are the same length you can see here, I'm going to put both these ends onto this malleon here. That's one, that is two. We'll just confirm that they're in. Tug on both of them, just make doubly sure. There's no point in being dead right, as I say. I have got a little bit of silicon tape here that might just do enough just to get round there once or twice just to hold these a little bit better that should stop them moving around so much like that see cool so now we need to feed these through one side of this pouch it's going to be side mounted so it doesn't need to be out of both sides so we'll go through this side because once it's mounted on the frame frame will be here this will be at the back and they'll route around the back of the harness Okay, so let's make sure we've got this sock on as well. There we go, that's gonna stop it rubbing against the inner pouch. And then we'll run both of these underneath here, making sure we're not catching this handle. And now this pocket side here. And we can worry about losing the excess once we're mounted. Now what we need to do, we need to get those loops back through these holes. This is the tricky bit. Normally where a shoelace comes in handy. So for the sake of this demo, I've gone and got myself a bit of string. We pop that through that loop. And we'll put that through this outer case, like so. And then we'll just pull that tight, tuck those bits in. So that's down tight once again. We just temporarily put this guy in here bring it back carefully and put it into its holder if we can get rid of that and do it slowly otherwise you'll burn these and probably damage them as well right so next one take that pin out confident we're not going to lose it now there we go string through and through this one pull it up tight pop this retaining pin through into its holder like that and pull this string out slowly so you're not creating any heat. We can then sort of mold this back into shape, tuck some bits further down if we need to and reattach our handle. So there we go, we've got our reserve with the bridles at the top back so it can mount and these can root through. Right. 
Let's get this mounted to the power motor then. Tough bit, done. Okay, so now we need to hang this off of here. So when I'm in flight, my harness roughly sits about here. So my hips around here, so I'm gonna hang the reserve about here so I can see it, or get to it with my hand at least anyway. Like I said earlier, I've concocted these straps out of some GoPro mounts. They're pretty damn strong. Make sure you don't skimp out on this stuff because um, it's hanging your second chance off the side of you. So um, hopefully these are already the right length. Um, so basically it's a buckle at the top with a bit of webbing that goes through and then there's a clip on the bottom which clips neatly and luckily perfectly onto these straps that normally hold it to the front of the, ha front of the harness here on the chest strap. So I'm going to take off this arm and then we're going to loop these on and then clip it up to this guy. Okay, so let's clip these to that and see where we're at. Now you could do this with all sorts of buckles or whatever you like, as long as it's secure and it's not going to fall off during flight, that's what matters. Um, and as long as you can pull the handle as well without it swinging, that's what these neck straps are going to be about. Because if I was to pull that, it'd be out here before I even managed to get any sort of handle um, resistance. All right, so that's it hanging. Looks like it's hanging fairly even. These might move about, so we might just need to nip these, these up a bit. But like I said, I've got the adjustment there, so I can do that. Seems fairly sturdy. Right, so if I was to sit in here and pull that, I'm not actually gonna do it because otherwise I'd have to repack it. To pull that, it would just come out. It wouldn't actually deploy. So on these loops back here, I'm gonna attach these two Velcro straps that I mentioned earlier. Through this one, and I'm gonna go around this leg. And the second one, when we're flying, we're about here. So I'm gonna go around this webbing, I believe. That gives it a bit of flexibility to move as well. So that's got a flexibility there to move. When I'm in flight, it's not gonna, that whole range of motion shouldn't really affect where it is. So when I pull that now, let's just hold these straps in. I'm pulling against this back strap here. So it should deploy. Put some weight in there. It's got a bit of movement here, so it should, should be enough to pull up and out and get that deployed. Right then, the next piece is rooting these guys to the mannings on top here. Right, so the first we need to do is we need to remove these neoprene covers that are over our riser straps. So they literally just Velcro off and then they attach with a bit of Velcro underneath just so they hang there. Um, so essentially what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to run our trapezoids through this um, gap underneath here, basically where our main carabiner is because there isn't another fixing point on this harness. So we want them to end up this way round. So we're basically gonna thread them through and uh, on both sides. That's one side, that's our second side. Now we're just gonna put an O-ring on each one, just ready for once we've got the bridles to them. Okay, so the most important thing about running these bridles around your harness and frame is that they are on the absolute outside of everything. They need to be outside. It's no good than being underneath, because when you deploy your reserve, that's gonna then pull and it's gonna cause you all kinds of issues. So we're outside of the the J bar and then we're gonna go all the way over the top. So we're gonna run one to each mallion that we've just attached, um, making sure they're not twisted and, and spun round. So we'll get this one round to here. That will come down into here. I'm just gonna temporarily place that into that one there. And then likewise with this one, it's all the way around the outside. And then we'll place that into here. We now need to attach our O-ring so these don't move around so much. Okay, so now we've temporarily got our routing. The next point 
we have to do is we have to mount this o-ring around this uh, bridle so we're going to take it off of the mallion that we've just attached it to and we're going to grab our o-ring um, and with that o-ring we're going to twist once let's do a 180 that will create a twist in your o-ring like so we're going to thread our bridles through that twisted loop like so and then we're going to thread it onto the mallion again itself there we go so pull that across and this is where it gets a little bit fiddly so just work it on nice and steadily and then we're going to take this other half of the o-ring gets a little bit of space and then we are going to twist it once more and then we're going to thread that over the mallion screw thread itself again so it should hold it in place like i say this can be a bit fiddly so bear with it patience is key as everything is with paramotoring patience will get you a long way so there we go let's move that one out so you guys can see it and that's the o-ring on there it's going to stop that from moving around so much so that's number one attached you can see it's on both sides it's attached around that bridle there that side is done other than strapping it all back in and tightening up this guy here so we'll do that and then we'll nip that with a spanner like i say we're just nipping it we aren't cramming these up like so there we go it's just nipped and then we've got that bridle attached there and that will root underneath this sleeve do the same for the other side Okay, just do one final check that make sure that everything is on the outside looks like it is we can start working from the back here uh, making this all neat and tidy now the nice bit so we're just going to wrap these around here this one on here making sure that they're going to sit nicely when we're in the air looks like they're going to do fine and then on the back of this harness we have a nice little pocket to root these down and it's velcro so it will tear open when the reserve is deployed so that goes in there tucked in all the way down there nice and it goes on the outside this bar and all this excess will just lose inside the container so as your final test just make sure that nothing's going to come out nothing's going to go in the prop and that everything is on the outside of everything and that is side mount and reserve. So that concludes the first episode of my journey to the comps. Now that we've got the reserve side mounted, we can now work on building ourselves a mat board. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe. As always, I will see you up in the air.